Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soil Republic. And today we're gonna be resolving the issue of helicopters. No, it's gonna be oil and coal. Okay, now tell me in the comment section how funny are those helicopter jokes? How funny? Tell me. Tell me now how hilarious they are. Um, they're not. I, I agree. So, uh, issues, issues, issues. We have a little bit of an issue with the coal levels falling down here. So what I'm gonna do real quickly, we're gonna go and set up a couple of more um, couple of more coal trucks and also I have another issue. Well, we have, well, we still have money. Why the hell not? Let's try to resolve some problems. So, we're gonna have a coal, uh, coal, coal, coal. We're gonna have dumper truck here. We're gonna go for pricey version because this is what we like and then I'm gonna go here here and find a couple of these T148 dumpers now the, why am I choosing those and not something a little bit cheaper because they are the biggest one we have the same size as well but um, cause is a little bit more um, the cause is a little bit more um, iconic I think that's the best thing it, it's, it's screams Soviet well, the Czechoslovakian one scream, yeah, I'm fancy, I still do the job and I'm cheaper, but we don't want that. We don't want cheap, we want expensive and, and big and and that. Okay, uh, other thing we're gonna dis uh, discuss or, or try to resolve in this case, it's gonna be imports of fuel. We have an extra fuel tanker over here, which I'm gonna copy paste the fuel imports because I noticed that we are out of fuel as well. And why is this building without power supply? And do you need to be with power supply? That's that's a question. That is the question. Uh, what about this? Okay, this one doesn't have power. I don't know if they... They obviously don't have to have power here. Uh, this one needs to have power and it does have... Okay, I don't see the need for electricity over here. We have some fuel. So, we have additional trucks. We have additional um, vehicles delivering... Uh, coal because we are running out of, out of coal and we have a little bit of an issue with uh, food supplies I believe kinda uh, I think they're just about you know how much we can handle this um, here we have absolute absolute disaster regarding the food imports so what I'm gonna do now again throw more uh, more more money at the problem we have one truck on the way where are you so this is the one going okay he's just going to load and the second truck is this one over here where are you you are on the way back halfway back okay so we have this truck and they require at least one more truck to deliver stuff do we have anything here that we can use? No, this is a freezer truck. Unfortunately, we can't use the, use you, so we're gonna have to buy another truck. Okay, so what do we have covered hull trucks? What do we have with a decent capacity? This is six tons of food. I think I would like to have another cars vehicle here, but let's see here. I think we might have something more affordable. We have these articulated ones, but I don't want articulated ones. I wanted the, maybe Euros. 3.8. This is not really a solution. I want something that's not that doesn't have a trailer. I want in one piece truck with a decent capacity. Kaz is offering that. We have this Czechoslovakian truck, but this is the same same capacity as Kaz and just a little bit cheaper, which is uh... okay. Let's go with Romanian just just for for you know using a little bit different trucks. So we have this Romanian truck and. Uh... Is it Romanian truck? I think it was. But let me just not to... No, it's... No, wait, what? Oh yeah, it's Romanian, it's this one here. Perfect. That's fine. 16,000 rubles, it has a little bit bigger capacity and hopefully we're gonna have some food issues resolved. There's another tanker truck I would like to imp implement here. That I would like it to have the... I would like it to deliver the... Um, the oil to import oil here let me see how we're doing oil wise you can see that we are still uh bone dry over here so i think we should um as soon as uh, well as soon as we earn a little bit more money i think i'm gonna go and focus on 
Uh, you can see that we are exporting livestock here. This is perfect. What else are we exporting here? Livestock, meats. This one is exporting probably alcohol, indeed. So we are exporting um, a little bit of everything. Meats, 5.4 thousand. That's, that's nice. 5,400, as uh, some of you would say. Uh, right, right, right. How are we doing with the meats again? Meats are so-so. So-so. Uh, actually, that, I think meats are slowly recovering. Uh, livestock. Livestock is doing what livestock does the best. It's being produced. That's fine. Uh, what's with livestock here? This one here looks to be under a little bit of a pressure because we have several of several, several trucks coming in here. Um, right, how are we doing with oil right now? Again, we don't have any oil. I think this was a sign for us to get this oil tanker. Oil tank we have... I'm gonna go again for the expensive solution because... Oh, frigate. I never, never, ever, ever run out of money. Don't run out of money. That's a big no-no. Cistern T8. Uh, this is... No, is it T8? Where are you? All right, okay, uh, this one is fine. So we're gonna copy the schedule from this one to here, and off you go. There we go. So we have additional additional fuel supplies coming in, so hopefully this is gonna stockpile our fuel, or at least resolve some of the fuel issues we are experiencing. Okay, now big, big, big expansion I wanna do here is we need to get this uh, electrified railroad up and running. So we're gonna have this electrified we're gonna have this electrified we're gonna have this and this electrified perfect we're gonna have all of this electrified we're gonna have even more of this electrified let's zoom out a bit we're gonna have we're gonna just continue doing what we do or the voodoo that we do do so well uh, okay this is uh, here we go segment is over here segment is here where's the segment right over here we have another one over here and oh right well, i wanted to talk about something i have an issue from time to time with youtube i'm i'm using the uh, so let's talk about computer stuff and non-game related stuff i have um pc that is uh, my first in my first time in my life i have the intel processor but i had it for last three years or more so it's not really new thing but anyway, I have it, and this is the first time I ever had the Intel processor, and <laughs> as soon as I bought this one, Intel became crap. I don't even know if mine is good or not, but it does the job. It's over three years old, and I have no intention in changing it. I have no money to change it either. So, that's the buy me a coffee link below, so we can buy a new computer at one point if this one dies. But uh, for now, I don't see it dying, because it's, it's fine. But, so, I'm using the... Um, Premiere Elements uh, as a processing uh, software. You know, you have to put a intro, outro, music you're listening is actually not from the game, it is from the game, but it's actually the whole... Um, um, I bought with the game the soundtrack as well, so this is only songs... Well, songs I enjoy to, to listen to, and I kind of think they're more... better than some other songs, so you know, just personal choice or, or you know stuff like that. So um, I'm using this um, Adobe Premiere Elements from 2018, I think it's, yeah, it's again uh, over, like, it's, it's gonna be three years old soon because I started this channel. I used something else before, but the Premiere Elements is a little bit simple for our simple folk. So Premiere Elements is a um, quite interesting tool um, because it has an option for you to uh, upload the... It has... You, you have an option to upload the... Oh, I just remember something. Oh, oh, it's finished. Okay, that's uh, that's nice. Uh, they already finished this. I, how did they do that? How did this... Ah, right, there's a switch here. Okay, so, Elements. They have an option to upload to your YouTube channel straight away, which is perfect. Saves me some time, you know, like... I mean, it doesn't really... If you know when your processing of the video is gonna be done, you can upload it yourself. And I think it uploads in a little bit lesser quality than the... Then, if you manually upload it, why? Because, I know if you process it yourself, for example, these kind of videos get, like, up to 6 gigabytes of sides, um, and if I put, set it up to be uploaded straight away, um, then the files are like 4 or under 4 gigabytes, which is 
fine. I think quality is decent, um, but uh, it's still, you know, it can be better. So I, I used to upload in 4K. That was horrible. It was like 20, 30, 40 gigabytes of, of files. It took hours and hours to upload. I decided to go not for 4K, even though we can. Actually, I don't know if I can. I have a 4K monitor, but I'm not using it. I have Dell... Uh, 2650, 2560, uh, times 1440, I think, the, the, the UHD Ultra High Definition, I think, it's not 4K, it's it's 3K or something like that, 2.5K, it's the between the normal version and the 4K, so this, like, I, I just, I don't know, but I, I like these monitors, they have USB ports on it, so if I need it, but I have a USB port extension as well, but hey-ho, I have two Dell monitors, it's fine. So, um, I have 4K, but I don't record in 4K anymore, or I don't think, I don't personally see a little bit uh, that big of a difference between those two things, so I'm not really sure if, uh, you know, you guys can see it or not, but I'm just, I should probably just go on the... On the save side and delete all of this. Right, so sometimes when I uh, process these videos, because this is an older software, and you know that Adobe, well, the point of the company is to earn money. And uh, Adobe as well, you know, I, and I don't know if you know, but Adobe has a subscription. If you want to have, ooh, uh, epidemic situation reports in just seasonal events, according to our experts, that's fine should disappear soon. Perfect. Um, uh, Adobe wants me to pay a lot of money. A lot of money means like 30, 40 euros a month for subscription and that's no way in hell I'm going to be doing that for like uh, Premiere Pro because I don't even know how to use that crap. So I don't need that. I need something basic and it's really really hard even to find this software I'm using because it's so so basic. So um, sometimes probably because they are slowly out um, phasing it out because there's premier elements 2019 20 now 21 it's probably gonna be 22 soon it's a little bit older software so some probably maintenance of that software is not at the highest level as uh, some of us would like it to be incredible in freaking incredible why is this happening Right, so it's not the, at the highest levels that we would like it to be. Where's the petrol station here? So sometimes I have an issue... Okay, it's working. Sometimes I have an issue with YouTube not accepting the video from Adobe Premiere Pro. This is probably because they're changing some kind of settings within the program, either YouTube or Premiere Pro, and they have to cooperate, and obviously cooperation is on a slow side there because... Maybe there's no interest in cooperation or whatever, you know, because it's an older software. I'm just going to remove this railroad. It's, it's too many signs. Right, so, um, yeah, and I have sometimes issues with uploading that extremely rarely, once every couple of months. But I also noticed that uh, YouTube, on the other hand, sometimes blocks some of the comments that you guys post. And that's assholish. That's straight away uh, really, really bad. I don't, like, you guys are not posting anything. I even have some... Uh, there's a section of YouTube channel where you can s where there are comments held for a review. Sometimes I can even find perfectly, absolutely normal co normal comments there held up for a review. I have no idea why uh, YouTube is doing that. YouTube is just um, not ideal. YouTube, YouTube is not ideal. Their policies, their whatever they're doing, it's it's. I, I'm not happy with YouTube in general. And what, what what can I do? I make videos and upload them. This is probably the most common place where you guys would like to see it so but like I can, again like I said I'm fine with that so I'm gonna leave it as it is uh, what do we have here this vehicle here traffic jam where is it right that was um, yeah it's it would be what the hell heating problem where okay that's good to know but um, do we have any call on the way here's call on the way yeah, you can see that uh, it was a good uh, preemptive thing that we did here. So we preemptively uh, assigned more uh, dumper trucks here to deliver more coal. I think it was a smart idea. Um, but they're still burning through this coal uh, really, really fast. You can see that production of the heating plant, it has to jump to 100% because a lot of boilers around the city are not fully 
Uh, oh, this can be finished, but that's fine. We, we are not at hundred percent yet. We we are still we're constructing the, the <clears throat> we are constructing a secondary heating heat exchanger, but it's not still up and running, so that's fine. Let's see the underground mode. How is this doing? This is gonna take a while to build, but that's fine. Like I said, there's no issues with this because the underground pipe is not done and this one can handle it it's at 98% that they can handle up to 150 or something it's gonna be a little bit lower temperature but not that much lower hospital issues why is there a hoss uh, ha ha what sure 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 let's get uh, more more doctors in here let's go all in here let's just lower the number of patients because it could be because of the temperature but it's no it shouldn't be anyway it, it's fine I think it, I think the band's gonna make it. You can see here we have a, lot, a couple of sick people, but you can see that we have it handled. So I'm gonna lower to 10 doctors. I think that would be the best thing to do. That can handle up to 25 patients or so. Uh, currently we don't have any issues. Um, again, we have an issue with uh, fuel supplies for whatever. It's not an issue. You don't have to deliver fuel to hospitals and fire stations. This is just an optional thing that you can do. Uh, but on the other hand, the optional thing I can do is to have them uh, to have additional fire truck. Let's go with the big one with the uh, with the ladder so they can save some people. That's fine. What do we have here? We need more workers working in here. That's also good. Uh, we're gonna increase number of workers. And as soon as this is done, hopefully it's going to be soon, let's put a footpath office assigned to this because they have more buses. Uh, they have, uh, let's see, we have three buses on the way to the building and Škoda here is coming. What the hell are you bringing? Oh, it's bringing crane. Okay, probably we just, yeah, we have all the materials. So now crane and people, uh, that's going to resolve, that's going to build the meat storage quite fast. Electricity hoses are here, so that's fine. Uh, we have this being well constructed. We, are need, we need concrete and gravel to finish this. Oh, sorry, we need concrete to finish this. That's fine. Well, it's not fine. We still need it. Uh, you can see that we are lowering amount of construction signs here, so that means railroad is being constructed. In this episode, what I would like to do is to have a train deliver these materials. This would be really, really important, even though you think it's not, it actually really, really is. Why is that? Because these materials, if they are delivered by a train, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, that train, after it delivers materials, can go to the border crossing and ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, export all this crap that we need, the, the, the extra uh, stuff. And then Mr. P, uh, Joshua, I believe, can be finally satisfied and say, uh, not, not be able to say how we are not listening to him that we should export the material. I will, I want to, I just don't want to put a pressure on our border crossing because these exports are really, really important for us. Exports are really, really important. Uh, they are the bloodline of our country. Um, yes, 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 BC-74SJ, because we need self-sustainability and then exports won't be <laughs> necessary. Uh, right, but uh, yeah, everybody always is striving to, uh, striving to be self-sustainable in, in this game. Again, uh, there's a couple of other issues we can, we can do around here. There's... Um, uh, again, I think we're gonna need the distribution offices. Here we go. We finally have this distribution office ready. So what I'm gonna do is tell these guys to load stuff in here that's gonna be bitumen and fuel. And let's see how many vehicles can we have here. This is 4 times 4. This is 20 vehicles. 20 vehicles can be in here and uh, we need to deliver... What do we need to do? We need bitumen. We need bitumen delivered here. That's fine. We're gonna need bitumen delivered all the way here and then we're gonna need fuel delivered everywhere so the problem is can we actually deal with fuel being delivered everywhere let's deal with this we're gonna get fuel here we're gonna get fuel to these fueling stations that we have around here so that would be this one over here and I'm not gonna deal with these buildings I'm not gonna deliver any fuel there but what I'm gonna do is set up this local distribution around our capital city with this one um, so you will be delivering fuel here uh, gas what you cannot that's interesting um, 
fuel needs to be delivered here fuel needs to be delivered over here and then we have two small uh, farm fueling stations which need fuel as well I would like them to deliver fuel here whenever they can uh, we're gonna go to over 90 percent to the of this and again like I said we have bitumen fuel 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 and I would like it to deliver fuel why the hell all right uh, I think I have to assign vehicles first okay so let's slow this down what's the wrong with this one so let's go with this vehicle and just assign it here because why is the why is there a problem over here and there's no problem probably they supplied all the fuel they need at the moment not really so what are you distributing again you are distributing well, look at this okay there's fuel missing here and there's nobody on the way fuel over here is missing as well there's no all oh, right because we set it to 30 percent but that's fine this is perfectly fine let's do this i will be re um, reassigning all the vehicles from here so we're gonna go for let's go like this uh reassign vehicles from here this one as well Uh, this one as well and this one here is the last one I think so there we go we're gonna reassign all the vehicles here and I'm gonna give you four more dump uh, so that would be oil tankers no let's go for two more because I'm gonna go with cars vehicles cars trucks uh, probably we have a cheaper option for oil with a bit bigger capacity but I like cars uh, 12 tons let's see if we have anything better uh, 12 tons we have 7 10 here 10 but it's the same price as cars so it's not really worth it it's different vehicle though but uh, that, that's a positive thing and then we have t148 cistern and then we have a 6 3.699 oh you're kidding me it's the biggest one where's the what's i call it okay well, well there we go we have the biggest ones i think uh, we didn't make any mistake here is it set to 90 percent yes it is can we set the they say that this building is incompatible uh and yet they ha oh right this one doesn't have capacity oh right right, right, right. but hospitals and fire station fire stations i believe but again hospitals and fire stations that are not uh okay this is uh, a little bit it's not strange because i'm pretty sure that these uh, modded uh, hospitals don't have capacity for fuel but i can see that this one does so i'm not really sure how this is counted did this is mr robs's mod maybe he uh, uh, augmented their his mods to to be able to accept fuel but that's fine i think that's fine if i notice anything that needs fuel i will refuel it like construction sites or something but at the moment we have these distribution offices that can use fuel but uh, for now i think we can leave it as it is uh what kind of vehicles do we have here these are crappy vehicles quite quite crappy and old uh i think you know what maybe we can maybe we can set them uh to go over here they're crappy and old but uh they still have some use to it hopefully they're gonna send these smaller vehicles to go and uh, get the uh, to do the farm farm uh, distribution but uh, there we go so we have uh remove all connections perfect and then gonna go here remove all connections and we have two new distribution offices in here so now we can again set this up to be a fuel distribution office uh, how we're doing around here these vehicles are all gone because they need to fill in the um, petrol stations but they are again all empty so let's go and set this up we have a border crossing here this is where we're gonna be loading and then we're gonna go all the way here and this is where you're gonna be unloading and we have these imports set up now i will be uh, buying more vehicles of course we're gonna go for oil tanker is that the same and get it to 90 percent at least i uh, just want to make sure that that's the one yes it is cause let's go for one cause and you can start and import this and this and uh, unload this and this that's perfect this is exactly what i wanted to do and now you know that we have three vehicles assigned going to this uh, let's see this is from customs house yes your new home actually it's full 
When you assign full vehicles to distribution office, this can cause some problems for you. I'm hoping that this is not gonna cause any problems, but I'm gonna have to monitor this. Let's see this. This is uh, imports. I'm gonna assign you here, and this is uh, nothing. And this is imports. So I'm gonna um, assign them to this distribution office where they're gonna get the uh, orders from here to, to import all the oil that we need. We have 20 tons of oil, that means there shouldn't be any issues, but who knows. Okay, so we resolved our coal issue, we resolved our fuel issue, at least we, are, we set it for resolution. And I'm hoping that this is all functioning now. Yes, population is still growing. We're just gonna pass 10,000 uh, people mark. We have a lot of a lot of unemployed people here. Well, not that much, a lot, but uh, still a lot. I think soon, soon, soon. Oh, here we go. Perfect. So we have our local uh, meat uh, at this, and we're gonna go for unload meat here and you're gonna be loading meat, unloading this and this, loading meat, unloading this and this. And this needs to be done for all of these guys. And the meat here, I mean, yeah, I think, I think, I think you know what I mean. So we're gonna be unloading meat from these factories now. And now we have our uh, pollution monitoring station and let's see what the actual pollution is around here. Um, these farms are gonna start working really, really fast now. Well, hopefully. They're still missing people here. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm still gonna do this. We have this pedestrian path and I want it to be as close as possible here and construct this so people can walk to work here. Uh, this is not gonna employ a lot of people, but it's gonna employ people nevertheless. And now since we have this one over here, I think we don't need... What do we have here? Škoda, they're going from small distribution office, so let's go to this small distribution office. We're gonna unselect this farm and we're gonna be selecting this this uh, storage facility here. So they're gonna be filling this facility and not this one. Uh, this one will be sourcing their crops from this uh, silo and this silo. This is just initially um, for a transition until they empty this silo, only 74 tons of crops, and I'm kinda hoping it's gonna be soon. Okay, so we have pollution increasing. This is what is to be expected. Uh, we have pollution increase. You can see that the meat levels are falling equally in all three farms. This is perfect. And that means that uh, because we have our distribution office set only for the middle farms, you can see here that there are middle, middle and middle farm uh, fish farms selected. So that means that they're only dealing with middle fish farms. What about storage? Storage, let's go all three. Storage is going to be a bit different. Storage is a different story. We do have a little bit more storage on these, but that's because these uh, factories, fish farms are not being used. These are being used. You can see that uh, they are leaching or taking the materials from the central farm, but uh, the central farm is not using storage from those two farms. Now, because productivity is really, really low, only 250 kilos of meat a day. Um, we're not using a lot of wood, so this will work through the middle farm as well. But because we don't have so many vehicles here, I think it's not gonna cause any big problems for us. So I think, I think that we're gonna be fine here. The only thing that I would like to finish in this episode is this railroad truck. So um, I want to finish this railroad truck or, or electrification of this railroad all the way here just because I would like to set up this train that's gonna be delivering wood, uh, logs, uh, bricks, prefabs and steel here. That's important because I want to, after it delivers, it delivers, I want it to be exported as soon as possible, including steel, including steel. So hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping that that's not gonna be a big problem for us because we're gonna be exporting some steel. Okay, uh, coffee time for me, like, subscribe for you. Okay, there we go, short break, coffee time. I have my mug of coffee here. And let's move on. Right, so, what do we have? What do we have? 
we have tractors. How are they going to cope with this? Let's check the the quality of the tractors we have. We have four shrits over here. I think we in, uh, implemented four shrits, four shrits everywhere. Uh, that would be perfect because four shrits are the most powerful tractors. We, uh, not he oh yeah, we have four of them. And now they have this. We, we have this test that we are running with these tractors. Uh, do we want to upgrade the paths? Maybe. Do we have time? Is this a smart thing to do? I don't think this is ever a smart thing to do except in the beginning, so I'm just gonna do it. These guys have access on the other side, so I'm gonna do this one as well. Let's see if it's gonna be assigned to road office. Well, I'm gonna manually assign it. Rest of the roads here are fine, and we have a little bit of road over here. But I'm not gonna mess with these two smaller roads, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Uh, let them upgrade this, and then we have upgrade rest of this path over here. Rest of them, they look nice. We have some mud, ooh, we have some mud roads, but we're not gonna deal with that. Uh, fuel, fuel, fuel. Why is this guy fueling here? Food, food, food. Because they're loading here. There's a fuel sta fueling station there, but obviously this one is closer. That's fine, that's fine. So, uh, ultimate plan is to finish this railroad construction over here, which uh, is going quite nice. You can see that he has a lot of um, uh, metal parts on the back of the, uh, of the carts here, and he's doing a really, really good job of putting these... Uh, pillars you can see them appearing and come on left there we go one is there oh he's speeding up perfect go Johnny go actually we can see the amount of people working over here yeah this is really really good I'm really happy yeah, the, the construction is going well I'm perfectly happy with that I'm pretty sure he's gonna be done soon but the problem is we're gonna need the but yeah but yeah but yeah we're gonna need soon the Uh, we're gonna need soon the, soon the locomotive that is gonna be pulling these materials and uh, carts and we're gonna have to save a little bit more money for this but this is the export this is gonna be going to the exports right away 200,000, 270, 190 here we go we have PKP here 186, 2000 kilowatts that's gonna be fine 140 kilometers per hour this is my favorite now we need we have 160 ooh 160 Oh, I'm going for this one. I'm going for this one. 260 kilometers per hour, it has 2000 ki 2032 kilowatts, it has 82 tons. It's a bit on a heavier side, it's cheap. It's cheap compared to some of the others, but it's less powerful as well. We don't even have any equivalent of something so weak here. Bear in mind that the weakest locomotive we have here is... 2000 kilowatts now let me explain how much is that compared to diesel locomotives at this time i think 2000 kilowatts is gonna be a struggle to find uh here we go we have 4000 kilowatts over here and we have 2900 over here so these uh diesel locomotives that some of them are more expensive than these electric ones and they require refueling as well are more expensive so electric locomotives this is the price you pay for you don't have to your trains don't have to go and refuel your trains are fueled all the time powered all the time i think would be a better thing to say so yeah really really cool thing so what i'm gonna be doing soon is uh, building this locomotive and then setting it up to go and load up over here it's gonna load on materials but we're missing some stuff over here let's see we should have a distribution office assigned to to this this distribution over here and i think it could be this one yes we do uh, what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna tell this distribution office that it should load uh, logs from here and here what's with the logs this one is empty why is this one empty this one should load logs not unload, load and load, and there we go. Uh, store percent, uh, over 50, let's say. Over 50% because we need under 50 to create a little bit of coal that we're producing here, even though that's an obsolete technology. And then it should be delivered uh, to the cargo station, I think. That would be Danil Industrial Small Storage. That would be this one over here. Let no, 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 no. What the hell is this? Where is this one? 
No, no, no. This is for trains. No, no, no. We need the. What is this? No, no. no. Uh, that's uh, that's for the. That's for the trains. I think it's this one, the road cargo station. Yes, yes, yes. Road cargo station here, and here you will be unloading. Yes, it has already selected the wood, so that's fine. The only thing we need to allocate uh, a storage space for wood. So let's get. Uh, we said 58 tons. That's fine. 58 tons is gonna be one trailer load of wood. So we're gonna have train with five trailers that's gonna be delivering steel, prefab panels, um, bricks. Uh, boards and wood. Wood is gonna be for our fish farms over here, so it's gonna be delivering all of that here, and then we're gonna have obsolete, well, part of this, um, part of this storage over here. Part of this storage is gonna be, uh, do we have the, we should have open hulls, yeah we do. So we're not gonna be needing those Škoda trucks here anymore, and then we need to deliver corn we're gonna deliver corn or or crops uh, later on when this is done actually train station is already done but we need the train connections connected all the way so when that is done we're we're golden for now it's gonna be uh, just waiting for collecting some money so we can actually buy this um, this infrastructure these these locomotives that we need uh, oh, sweet baby Jesus okay this is um, absolutely horrible. Ah, just go frig it. Go away. Uh, messages are... I, I don't think this is a resolution. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff here. Ooh, train. Uh, I'm missing a lot of stuff here. And uh, you see, 100 tons. This is how we're, how much we're using. 134, 133 tons of iron are, we are using before the rest of it is exported. And the uh, export price of this is 5,000 rubles. Which is fine. We could have a train directly exporting iron ore, but I think this is a better setup where we have it, you know, deliver some and export the rest. Uh, the only bottleneck we're gonna have here is the uh, production, which is fine. I don't want to expand production here. I'm happy with the production as it is. I would like to keep it at these levels because our main iron production is gonna be elsewhere, not here. Uh, do we have all the people working here? Yeah, we have maximum people working here. We Probably I should monitor the pollution around here because this is something that we are not doing. So let's go this. Uh, let's go to this as well. Uh, a lot of you ask me why do I put uh, the the why don't I put like pollution monitoring station in the in the industrial zone or in the residential zone. Well, uh, the reason is that it doesn't make any sense. You need to see uh, effect of pollution. To your people. So how do you do that? You actually put it in between those two. Uh, son of a gun. There we go. Build it here. So you actually put it in between those two industrial uh, areas. So for example, we have three industrial areas here: the big steel and ooh, we never actually set this up for production. A heating plant and power plant. Well, power plant is working. I'm happy about that. Um, but the heating plant is not working. It's actually not even set up for heating yet. Strange. No, not even strange. It's not even close to being strange. But don't really, don't really uh, think we have any issue with this. Capacity of these guys is 64%, and small heating plant can handle it. This was just. And initially as a precaution, but we'll see if we're gonna set this one for operation. For now, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. I think I'm gonna leave it as it is and uh, um, not employ any people working in the heating plant. Uh, also, wood is not being delivered. I, we can definitely set forestry around here in the hills and supply our heating plant with wood. As probably you know, and you're sick and tired of me repeating this, but I'm not a big fan of um, creating creating heat or electricity out of wood. I don't think wood is the something that we should be burning for. One of the guys I work with, he said something uh, really, really that made impact on me. I'm aware of this, but the way he said it, it was like really, really cool. He said we need to stop burning shit for power, for electricity. And that's true. Nuclear. We're not burning anything. We're using... Uh, well, nuclear. So, um, right, so this is the... Um, 
this obviously this is a Soviet Republic and uh, we are in different era different times and uh, coal power all the way I'm even reluctant of using the uh, oil heating because I have no opinion on that oil heating yes or no what do you guys think is this something we should be using I think oil is too valuable in a way for our transport like planes and rockets and cars and that kind of stuff well cars with electricity I have nothing against that but uh, it's too valuable a resource to be burned for something like electricity where we can get them from coal and um, nuclear you can't really have you can of course but you can't really have coal powered cars you know on a large scale okay how are we doing here we have meat meat is being sourced from here this is perfect and this is what we're gonna change right now we have a couple of shops here and let's do one by one uh do the final thing here uh well uh, uh nizhny veltir fishing farm you're gonna go and load from here from now on meat storage and remove fishing farm from here load 100% of everything and deliver it perfect we have two more uh, things I would like to do it's um, we, we can do it from the farm but you saw that farms are being emptied fast so probably we might have some issues with um, meat deliveries to these shops so you can see that we already have me issues with meat deliveries but like I said meat is not important for people to be well to be happy yes but to survive no so i will leave it as it is uh, i will go from this one to this one and then fish farm remove uh, this is going to be loading meat from here that's perfect is that the one uh, meat storage yes it is and then we have this one here let's expand this last statsovo uh, shop uh, refrigeration instead of here you're gonna go here and here and then remove fish farm and uh, meat storage that's perfect you're gonna go to meat storage and load all the meat you need from here and then when this is done when this is connected I believe as far as I remember we have refrigeration train trucks tra train uh, carts and we're gonna be exporting meat from here as well uh, this is gonna go to the border crossing we'll see how it's gonna work maybe it's not gonna be productive enough but I can see that we have a lot of um, a lot of meat by now so let's do a little bit of a calculation here we have nine farms to uh, 250 kilos of meat each that would be 2,250 2, kilos or 2.25 tons of meat a day that's not insignificant but also it's not a lot to be exported by a train truck probably could do so that means uh, one Škoda six ton uh, capacity refrigeration truck can uh, needs three days to be fully loaded so yeah we, we have that kind of truck there already but this is more important for delivery of uh, construction materials for our rail construction office and grain for for Nizhny Veltir Veltir steel silo here this is for the this is for the crops but where are you getting crops from uh, road cargo station which one are you is this absolutely the worst place to load crops might as well be might be might might be uh, let's see what's happening here so we are fully empty of grain really they're so effective so we either had a bad harvesting season or or we have really productive farms at the moment I have no idea but I know that this is gonna cause problems because trucks won't be able to deliver uh, crop trucks won't be able to deliver uh, materials oh right they are not even going there my bad uh, they're going to here so uh, trucks won't be able to deliver crops you can see that there's enough crops here okay there's something wrong here there's something wrong uh, there was less crops here because these two farms are exactly the same but they're being uh, held back by this probably and then meat yeah, I think we need to increase the pr meat processing I think we need to increase the meat processing here 
And now we are we should be maximum 50%. Uh, optimally, it's going to be 30 to 40%. But um, um, yeah, uh, th this is the way to go. Okay, um, right. Since we resolved, since we already resolved this issue with the coal and oil that we or fuel that we had initially let's just check yes fuel is being restocked re refilled uh, that's all fine uh, we can move on why are those guys stopped that means that every petrol station is full to a 90 percent maybe it is maybe finally we resolve this that means that we shouldn't have issues with uh, this one as well because this one has two trucks Nope, this one and this one. This is from distribution office, but this one here is from the... This is distribution office and this one is directly from the border. I think I'm gonna go and set this up to be to find a new home over here. And let me see what's happening with these imports now. Are we having a problem because I set these guys up for imports? Yeah, we do. We, at least we do with uh, bitumen. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe uh, I, I'm gonna leave it because uh, I can see that the other uh, truck that was full of fuel is not being um, used uh, for transporting. But let me see these guys. Is there any of you standing still full of fuel? Nope. This one is driving, driving, driving. Any of them ha not having tasks, they're all standing. So that means they might be emptied even though they are in the... E even though if we told them to go there with fuel on board. Uh, problem. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I should uh, Maybe I should take care of this. So let's go like this. You go here and then you go here. I would like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did, could we just... Yeah, I could, could have just dumped the cargo. My bad. I can just dump the cargo. I don't know if this was an option before, but uh, obviously now it is. Okay, let's just dump the cargo and leave them alone. Okay, we're slowly encroaching to the end of the episode and we still don't have enough money for all of this. Uh, for our ultimate uh, world domination plans, but... Um, Hopefully, and we we might have an issue with this. We might really have an issue with this because uh, we're not exporting livestock anymore. We could be increasing meat exports. On the other hand, let's let's try that. What, how are we doing with the storage? 900 kilos. What about storage over here? This one is closing uh, to empty real fast, but that's per that's not a problem because uh, we have food. Um, we have storage, food in storage, so that's not going to be a problem. But um, you can see that these industries are functioning next to perfect. Like, um, they don't have any excess crops. They have like a third of the silo left and they have, let's say, three to four months until the harvest starts. Maybe a little bit less than that. So I think they're smooth. They're going really smoothly. I did increase a slaughterhouse um, worker capacity a little bit, but that's just because I I think our bottleneck was at the livestock, but I don't think I'm going to be touching this anymore. I think this is perfect, uh, perfect combination of meat production, meat exports, processing, all, all of it. I think this is, I, I think I like this. I think I like this setup. The only kind of weird thing is that we have this Mr. Rob's slaughterhouse that can process only, only, <clears throat> excuse me, 20 tons of livestock while the vanilla one with half of these workers can process five times more. There we go. You see, we are playing extremely hard here. <laughs> I, We're not. We're, we're playing for fun, and I think it's what we are doing. Uh, it's quite fun. Uh, Jesus, this is gonna kill us. These messages are gonna kill us. This is absolutely horrible. I think message thing needs to change like real real fast because this is going to drive us crazy i'm missing messages left and right i don't even know what's happening anymore so and also a couple of things that i didn't expect that we're going to resolve that would be our meat storage which is perfect uh how are we doing with the refrigerator trucks they're doing fine uh, meat is not being 
stored too much so I think we have everything under control and that means the farms should be working really really hard and uh, as some of you predicted it is affecting our city the pollution from these farms fish farms is quite high will this affect us in the future maybe yes maybe no but uh, obviously we're gonna be developing city in the opposite direction so I already said that we're gonna have spacing between those two farms and this area here but you can see that the average lifespan in these buildings close to the fish farms is around 55 years and as further you go all the way here for example we have 78 what about these guys here these are 67 so yeah it, it is influencing our people a little bit uh, so we might we might consider uh, well in the long run outsourcing like um, phasing out these farms but we'll see this is Alaskan salmon I love wild Alaskan salmon it's uh, I can talk a little bit of personal stuff it's not a problem but Alaskan wild salmon is really dry because it has really little fat on it and uh, that means like if you want to live healthy which I don't um, really don't um, uh, Alaskan wild salmon is the way to go it's really lean no fats if you compare it we have it in Ireland you have it frozen one uh, in uh, even like quite affordable like Lidl and Aldi under 10 euros per kilo which is much cheaper even from farmed salmon from Norway and Scotland which is not the healthiest one and then you have uh, we have Irish organic salmon but it's really expensive like up to three times more than the wild one and if you take the wild salmon like slices or fillets and put them next to the farm grown ones you will see the layers of fat on the which is fat is just taste which I 100% agree but farm one has much more fat than the uh, wild one uh, and the only wild caught salmon on the yearly basis or on a mass fishing is the Alaskan one they have uh, um, salmon fishing everywhere but it's highly 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 um, well first of all controversial but also uh, it's highly regulated so uh, sometimes it's gonna be hard for you to find wild salmon in Ireland I found out recently that it's only two months out of the year that they are allowing catching of salmon okay unemployment too high uh, don't care let's leave them all like this from time to time let's see if we have any oh Jesus okay we have a lot of people living with their parents let's see where they are and let's uh, find them a new home just so they can be a little bit happier uh, having those people uh, relocated are they now transporting these students are we transporting these students that would be PZ I believe to Nizhny Veltir uh, I would like to monitor those guys and see if they have enough time to go to school let's see if I can find the orange bus from here oh boy what's problem what's the problem now now they're not consuming enough okay that's um, that's funny uh, let me go and check those orange buses transporting our students this is one of them this one is going to Statsovo I will be uh... oh come on he's going to refuel right yes indeed refuel my son refuel coffee time for daddy there we go okay uh, bus 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 he's going there I wanted to check the other one as well but I can't seem to find them so we have students here let's go for two of them uh, how are you guys doing can you be transported on time to your universities here is the other one this one is going from Markusovo I will lower this screen and check him out later currently we have traveling in vehicles up to four hours uh, where is the vehicle vehicle is chop chop here we go so he's traveling just over an hour now uh, they have to go to new new veil tier this is where are their universities we have a lot of a lot of students at the moment I think we're gonna increase the number of professors but that might not be enough 
these guys are traveling hour and a half. Hour and a half, and here we go, they're coming. This seems to be a uh, total traveling time, I think. Oh, the total traveling time is five hours. Okay, I think it might be enough, but let's let's check it. So Yeah, this is this is definitely closer to where than where they were traveling before. So at the moment they're traveling uh, 2 hours 20 minutes uh, to the bus station and then they're gonna be unloaded there and then they're gonna go to university. I think we're catching up with the amount of students and education required and total traveling time 318. Yeah, okay, so they are they're doing fine. They can get here in time, but they're not getting education because currently we don't have enough workers working in the education system. So we might have to increase this. I already did it to 35. We do require a little bit more. Yeah, I think I think they should make it. You can see that they're both of those experimental people. They are getting the education. So I think I'm happy with that. Uh, and then we have these guys here. You're going to... Mar He's still not in Markusovo. Uh, this Markusovo one might be a problem because they might not be able to make it. We'll see, we'll see. Let, let uh, the experiment run and let's see how far we're gonna get. Okay, uh, 117,000 rubles is the money that we already have, we collected. We can see that uh, electricity is all the way here, but why is this? All oh, right, this is the extension of electricity. Uh, right, this is not working yet. We have electricity connected, so we have a uh, connection. Let me see this railroad construction office. It has no constructions assigned to it. That's fine. We will give you more work to do. Let's see, where did you come to? Let's go here and let's go here. There we go. So two of them can go and continue construction. What I'm going to do, I think how we're going to need to... Oh, okay, let... Darn it. Um, let's do this. I'm going to I'm gonna take two examples over here out of these people. And I'm going to go back here. Please don't be... Did, did you launch your construction vehicles? Ah, doesn't matter. That's fine. Um... The only thing what's, what, what I think I made a mistake, I should have finished the whole intersection or at least most of the intersection. I wanted to uh, construct these two uh, lines to be electrified before they continue constructing the, the rest of it, but that's fine. The band's gonna make it anyway. So these guys are traveling at the moment. Uh, this is the last experiment I'm gonna do here and hopefully we're gonna get uh, enough money for the train. I don't even want to read messages anymore. So, where do you disable messages? I think this is uh, general settings. Oh, here we go. Uh, health too low, that's important. Happiness too low, important. Unemployment, go away. Ambulance has not arrived, heating problem. Okay, I think this is much better. The unemployment one is killing us. Okay, we found, we found where you can do it. It took like three seconds and I was too lazy to do that. Uh, okay, these guys are on the way, but where are you? Okay, they're they're there, they're there. They're, they're, it's not the fastest thing ever, but they are they're gonna arrive in time, hopefully. So I think this is not gonna cause any problems for us for education. The only thing that's gonna cause problems is that this bus actually has capacity of 32 people and it had 32 students on there. That means that we have a gap. My calculations tell us there's a gap. We need uh, more capacity for highly educated people, but actually, you know what? We don't. We don't. Let them let them do their education as they want. Uh, we have some college educated people here already. That's fine. Anyway, uh, students that are not college educated, they, go, they would be teleported if they were. Uh, right. Uh, overpopulation. Let's deal with that because obviously we're not going to be able to deal with the train in this episode, but we did resolve what I said in the beginning. We did resolve the fuel and the... Uh, we did resolve fuel. How many? Uh, 67. Okay. Let's go for 80. There we go. 80 people. I'm gonna just resettle all of you. Resettle them here. Perfect. That should create uh, some space. And let's see where the others are. Markusova, no. And we have some over here. But that was 150 people. That wasn't a small amount. 30 people from here. Uh, we can resettle them uh, here. 
Okay, let's see if they're gonna be leveling out or we're gonna have to resettle more. I think we're gonna have to resettle more because I can see that there's more people than this uh, uh, living with their parents. So I think we can do more. But we're gonna have to continue expanding the city as well because we are running, not really running out of space. We do have a lot of space, uh, several hundred uh, people space, but uh, this, this city is taking a nice shape. It's shaping us out to be really, really nice. Uh, our trains are doing a bang up job, that's fine, and let's slowly finish this off because obviously the next one is gonna be related to our trains. Traffic jam, traffic jam. But that's fine. That's just gravel deliveries. There we go, we even resolved this part, so I think most of our construction should be done now. So we're gonna have a lot of, a lot of work to do in the next episode, because most of our construction are done, except the rail construction. We're gonna have to finish this real fast, and it's going, going, going really fast. We even finished this one. We need to finish this as well. But anyway, that's it. Let's end it here. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it. If you want to support the channel, you have description of the video. You can buy me a coffee. Guys, have a nice one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.